All right, welcome back everybody. Jill here with Go English Coach. What we're gonna start with is the past tense um, of the verb to be. And I think this is important to get started here because, well, because it's the most, it's the most common verb in English, right? So let's get started with writing these out. So remember in the pe present, it was I am, you are, she, he is, we are, they are, right? In the past, we do have, this is an irregular one, right? Because typical past tense, what do we do for past tense? Past tense in English with a regular verb, it's just the verb plus ed, right? That's the general rule. But of course, we have so many verbs in English that are irregular, okay? So in the past tense for the verb to be, we've got I was, you were, she was, we were, and they were. Okay, those are the past tense. Another really important aspect about those, um, especially for this word, is the pronunciation. Were, were, okay? So practice that, that pronunciation. All right, I was, you were, he, she, it was, we were, they were, okay? All right, let's take a look quickly at the negative for this. The negative, so this is affirmative, so we'll just do a little positive, and then we'll do here, we'll do the negative. So we'll call this negative past tense, okay? And let's see. Remember, we are going to just add, so we've got the subject. Here's our formula. You guys know I like formulas. We've got the form of to be. And now we're going to add not. Okay. I was not. I wasn't. Okay. You can say was not. That's totally fine. You can, easier is just to say wasn't. You just have to practice the pronunciation of that. Okay. You were not okay you weren't that one's tricky practice that one a little bit weren't weren't okay she was not okay she wasn't uh let's see we were Okay, we're gonna say not, we're adding that on there. And then we're gonna say weren't, all right? And finally, they were not. And the same thing is here, weren't, okay. So you can see in three cases, they are the same. There's two wasn'ts and three weren'ts. So learning just when to use those is really, you really are only having to learn three, or excuse me, two different words, wasn't and weren't, and then practicing when to use those, okay? So let's talk quickly about the simple past. So we have many past tenses. Um, so there's a past progressive, there's, past perfect, there's past perfect progressive, we have future tenses. Okay, so if we're making a drawing about when we use this, right, the simple past, so if this is now, simple past is one point in time in the past, okay? So I, something that happened one time or for just a period of time, but now is done. Okay. So I, um, yesterday I ate a hamburger for lunch or, um, uh, last week I wrote an email to my boss last week. I one time wrote the past tense of write an email to my boss. Let's practice some of these, okay? This is an easy one. Yesterday, um, I was sleepy, okay? Okay, I was sleepy yesterday. 
I so yesterday this tells me it's one time in the past it was one day yesterday yesterday I was sleepy I wasn't energetic how about that okay so we've got a positive and then we've got a negative okay let's practice one with were they were happy last month okay they were happy last month okay how about this to make it negative they weren't happy last month okay okay so remember it's simple past it's just like the simple present it's just kind of a well it's we use simple past as a an action that happened in the past and that is now finished okay so only then not now okay so we can say you know these kinds of words that give us an indication that it's in the past tense like yesterday last week last month last year in 1995 okay <laughs> um 500 years ago um those are all things obviously that give us an indication that we're talking about the past tense um okay let's stop for today because i don't want to get too many things layered into one lesson we will practice more of the to be and we will um, also be looking at the ed endings and get started with some of the irregular verbs okay um, because there are so many irregular ones, I'd like to give you some of the most common ones, and I would like for you to write them down and take note of those. Okay. So let me share this with you and then we will stop for the day. So you guys can see here that we have the most common, um, past tense verbs that are irregular. So the form of to be, come, get give go that's one that you really need to practice have no make mean say see and think all right so take note of those the the 10 most common irregular verbs okay in english there are a lot of irregular words but these 10 are the most common, okay? So practicing those takes and makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, let's see. Thank you so much, you guys. Please take a little screenshot of this so that you have this. And we will finish for today. Have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.